Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's Joe. Welcome to SNES's Life Tonight. Michael Andretti's IndyCar Challenge. It's been a while since I've had to play a racing game. And this looks to be a Formula One, I want to say semi-simulational uh, racing game. So on the cover here, I don't know if that's what Michael Andretti looked like. All you can see is his eyes and then his fire mask. And then, I don't know if that's Michael Andretti's race car. I'm going to assume that's the kind of looking car that... He drew, but it was bulletproof software, and they made good games. So we're going to assume this is good. I've never played it. I've never seen it. It doesn't sound or look familiar to me. And the cover art's pretty generic as far as, like, a racing game's concerned. Take a quick flip through the back here. Four screens. Uh, top left, top right, and bottom right are all race game. Uh, top two look like gameplay footage. One on the right looks like verse mode. Bottom one looks like it's probably replay. Yeah, custom replay options lets you control the camera angles. Yep. And then bottom left is 16 tracks. That's your track select screen, it looks like. Speed and Glory, Mode 7 graphics. Hot Mode 7 graphics, I'll add. Play in one-player mode, race against computer, challenge friend, two-player action. 16 tracks. Features professional race advice from IndyCar champion Andretti. Realistic control... Instant replay, pits car drive tips. Pretty basic looking on the back. Nothing that makes me think that it's going to be exceptional. Monkey! How are you, friend? Well, I hope. Uh, quick flip through the manual here. And unfortunately, this is not a manual that was copied in the way that it should be. Whoever copied this one pulled the staples and just copied. You can see on the bottom here, page 2 and page 27. So... <laughs> They didn't, uh, they didn't try and copy it in order, but it's there. I was able to flip through it. It gives you some strategies on how to set up your vehicle as far as like high drag, low drag, high gear, low gear. Uh, it is simulation-y, but it's pretty basic simulation-y. You know, it's, there's nothing in here like super duper, like you gotta set your downforce and your gear ratio and your tire pressure, but it's real basics like high, medium, low. There's no like back fin, uh, no back fin front fin differentiation. There's no like body type style, you know. And and then your stats are basically uh, I think five bars here: balance, top speed, and acceleration. There's a difficulty option. This is a weird one. And the X is your accelerate button. A is your brake, which is kind of weird. You use Y to pop reverse. B doesn't do anything. L and R are your shift buttons. Select is another nothing. So we got practice modes, Andretti giving you some advice there, results. But yeah, I mean, it looks to be a very consistently basic racing game. Not too bad. That's good to hear, buddy. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. How's, uh, how's work and life and everything else? Good? Are you, are you going you gonna to play Breath of the Wild when it comes out? Or Tears of the Kingdom, I guess I should say. I'll be taking off a half day on Friday to go pick my copy and play it. So thanks to Michael Andre for his professional racing advice. You picking it up on Friday, you taking off work at all, you need to play it all day. Like, that's my plan. I'm going to take off work at, like, noon. Joey! I'm going to go pick up my copy Michael from the Best Buy. Challenge. That's a good voice clip. Um, I'm going to pick it up from Best Buy. Come home, probably download the day one patch, and then play it for the next 12 hours. <laughs> I'll probably stream it, Joey, if you want to get on and watch the introduction area. <laughs> Um, speak of which, did you enter that contest I sent you? That the podcast I listened to was giving away a digital copy? Yeah, I figured, hell, it's worth it. Worth a try, at least. I got all of the entries except the last one. <laughs> well, I mean, it's... It's all, all you can do is try, right? Absolutely doing automatic transmission. We're gonna go to 
Pro or normal? Oh, no easy mode here. We're just gonna do pro, I guess, then. Well, I hope you I hope you win. That'd be nice. I honestly want a physical guy for a I'll take it. Right? Yeah. I mean, you know, obviously, uh, physical's proffered, but you'll take what, like, like you said, you take what you get. I was coming via mail. Brought my buddy's collection. Edition. Pre-order often to help him pay rent. Oh, it sucks for your buddy, but... I don't... I'm always super torn on buying a collector's edition. Like, I want all the cool stuff that comes with it. Just like all the different companies like GameStop and Target and all them were doing pre-order bonuses. But in the end, uh, you know, a lot of those pre-order bonuses were only temporary and people ordered it so fast they went away. The reason I went with Best Buy is because they were like, look, pre-order whenever and you're going to get this free art print. It doesn't even say how big the print might. It's probably a freaking trading card, but... But yeah, exactly, Joey. Like, I'm not willing... And $50 more is low-key. I feel like, like, the big special edition ones were like 200 bucks. Um, and I'm not willing to pay that because I'm cheap as hell. <laughs> Michael's advice. Michael's advice. Australia. It's faster. A series of short turns. Quick and responsive steering is a must. I might sell some of the extra stuff. <laughs> So here's where I could change my stuff if I want. And what's nice is not only do does the, the manual tell you what high, low, medium kind of does, but you can see when I change it here, it flips the stats. So high downforce is better balance, lower top speed acceleration. And then the opposite stands true. High gear is higher balance, top speed, lower acceleration. You know, we're just going to go with medium everything for this first race and see how she does. Or donate it to Adam for remember the game giveaways. How much stuff's in it, monkey? I don't even I don't even know what comes in the big special edition. I can't resist. I'm gonna look at. It. So who do you order it from? Or I mean, I guess it probably doesn't matter. I'm just curious. I gotta look. The Collector's Deluxe Edition. Uh, let's see. Is that what he got? Was the Collector's Deluxe Edition? Uh, Packages in a steel book case, concept art book, poster. Four enamel pins in addition to the physical copy of the game. Uh, I want the Tears of the Game OLED Switch, but it's $40 more than... Yeah, I saw a lot of people talking about the OLED Switch, and it does look really, really nice. And I was like, damn, that'd be super cool. But again, it falls into the I'm cheap territory. So if you got that spe fancy collector's edition, I do like the steel book. That's pretty cool looking. Poster's nice. Concept art book's nice. Pin set's pretty cool. I mean, that's that's pretty nice set. I mean, you know, I don't know. It was $130. So yeah, it was only 50 bucks more. Either way, I'm too cheap. It was a five-minute drive away, so when it comes, I'll go pick it up. Um, you know, cool, cool. I mean, I don't know. Now, I don't know if this is going to hold true through this entire game, but it's a racing game and it has music. It doesn't even have to be good music. The point is it's got music. So many simulation racing games just have engine noise, which is such a weak thing. Steering's pretty responsive. Slow down. Feels pretty fast. Shit, in the grass. Don't slow down. Go, go, go.
grass is not helping me. Slow down. Get speed here. Oh god, hitting the fucking wall isn't gonna do it either. Oh, that lap's ruined. Minute 50. Brr, did even worse on the second lap, shit. This is my pole positioning lap too. Did you hear about Nintendo's double digit key for buy one get one half off of the eShop? Oh nice. Uh I did not hear about that one, I don't think. Pole position, that's not a great starting position. Hey Goober, how's it going? What's up? We're all just sitting here talking about Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom coming and being excited about it. Final. I'm, I'm definitely going to pick it up and, and play it for probably like 10 hours straight. Well, I guess Kim's probably going to make me stop and eat dinner at some stage, but... It's just two game keys for games of your choice. It's almost $100, so I was off by 10 bucks. I mean, there's zero plan of playing. Hey, not everybody's on it. I got a, one of my best friends does not uh, did not care for the first one, and so is not even going to bother with the second one. Um... You know, I, I mean, the the game voucher thing, Joey, you know, like you said, uh, sounds great, and I'm all for, like, cheaper stuff, but, uh, you know, I also like physical games, <laughs> so uh, it's probably not worth it for me to do it, because I, you know, any of the high-dollar games that I would use that for, I would rather have a physical copy of them. Digi. You're the kind of person that doesn't care about physical versus digital. Oh, you bastards. Hit me into the grass. No! I am not doing well. <laughs> I'm too distracted talking to y'all. Oh, Jesus. Woof. So the manual did not say if you have to like place top three to to like progress or anything. I'm I'm kind of gonna hope that you don't, because <laughs> otherwise I'm not gonna progress. I think in this this uh, race. I like the sparks that come off the back. Those are kind of cool looking for the game. Slow down. Graphics look nice. Music's decent. The music is a rare thing for a racing game. Like a, a non-arcade racing game too, which I mean, I guess this one sort of feels a little arcadey, not like Top Gear style arcade, but Slow down. like you know, I've played other racing okay. games that are way more simulationy. Son of a bitch, I am doing awful. Keep catching up to him like at the turns, and then I end up hitting things. God damn it! Ah! <laughs> I would be a bad race car driver. I think is what we can take away from this. Slow down. Good. lap god first place is literally almost halfway around the track from me <laughs> Slow 
Dickhead. Go, oh, baby, go. I'm not gonna get him before I get to the line. Ugh. Seventh place? I think that's pretty much where I started. Today's events. Today's events, Joe sucked! Seventh place. Here's rankings. Seventh place, man. I get a password. So apparently you don't have to place in the top to win. Or to advance. Which is nice. Let me catch up to you guys here. That's me. Breath of the Wild just for about an hour. I really wanted to visit. Better driver than Joe. Yeah, maybe. A perfect fine driver. Yeah, well, Joey's a fine driver. Look, uh, Joey made it, what, three years after you got your license before you got in your first accident? So, I think that's pretty good. Michael, goodbye. The key says here, pay attention to the curves. Uh, we're just going to go with its defaults here. I mean, considering he was only driving my car up until and then, really, I, I, I believe it's the only one he's been in. Get ready. Go. Oh, Jesus. Well, that's not a good start for a qualifying lap. Fine, right up until that wall. <laughs> Result. Hey, pole position the third. That's not bad. If I can just maintain that, I'll be all right. I do like that it changes your settings Final. as a default setting before the race. So if you don't know shit about kind of how you would want to organize your car, you can take what it Get recommends. Ready. Go. Go. Good. Get, oh, come on, man. Screw you guys. I didn't even look at how many laps this race is. It's probably like five. That's what the first race was. It's just going to punish me. Nugget. I appreciate that there is collision in the game, but uh, I don't care for that. It collisioned me right in the fourth place. Five. 
five laps. I don't think I'm gonna get back into third, unfortunately. got third on there. I got robbed, y'all. Seems pretty responsive. It does, yeah. The the steering... Sure, let's just watch the instant replay here. One of the things that touted on the back of the box was the replay function, so you can, like, switch cameras and stuff. Oof. The uh, sprites look kind of rough on the replay. I mean, it's, it's nice that it's optional. Ah, so if you go to manual, you can just spin the camera around the car however you want. Front view, back view, front view. That's kind of neat. Hmm. Unnecessary in, in the end, I think, there, but kind of a neat addition to the game. And yeah, the steering feels responsive, the brakes feel responsive. I think at this stage, it's, uh, it, I think it's probably a lot more up to just you getting skilled enough to pass cars without bumping into them, which I'm not going to get to, but, you know. It definitely feels uh, more controllable than some of the other racing games I've played. Okay. Default. Default. Qualify. What if I don't want to qualify? Get ready. I do actually really Go. like. It, the music's the same throughout thus far. I don't believe I've heard a track that was any different. Uh, but the fact that there is music is a huge deal. Yeah. Very... Ooh, that's a sharp turn. Uh, the fact that there's music at all is, you know, a lot of games that are like this have none whatsoever. So it's nice to get it. Holy shit, wall. More wall. Fuck, wall. <laughs> uh, that was rough. was doing kind of okay. I biffed it on that back end. Slow down. I like that time it was even like, slow down, dude too fast. Definitely got a better time on the second lap. Voice clips are good. They all sound pretty clear. Sometimes you get voice clips on the old systems like this and they're real muddled. Get ready. Yeah. Go. Good. Ah, you. Jesus. Fucking bastards. Alright, well. 
I'd say it hosed me out pretty hard on this one. Got hit early on and knocked all the way back in like 10th. Good. in the back. It looks like the field in front of me there is pretty tight on the mini-map. Like if I could just catch up a little bit, I feel like I'd be right in the pack. advert in the background there. Microprose is the one that oh, made yeah. the, uh, the Mech Commander games that I was so fond of as a kid. Ouch. Didn't even get back to freaking pole position. That hurts. Our clown, what's going? How fun is it going? Uh, I'd struggle to say it's fun. It it plays better than some other racing games I've played, so it's not upsetting, really. <laughs> but it's not exciting to me. It's not a, like an exciting bad. race game. Jesus. Eight laps? Jesus, be though. Top speed on acceleration. Sure. So it's not pre PSX GT? I guess not. I mean, I've never been a huge racing simulation style fan, so. You know, if you're looking for race games I like, other than the Mario Karts and Crash Team Racing, like Top Gear, uh, Rock and Roll Racing, you know, uh, Wipeout. Airspeed, like those are the race games that I like and enjoy. Uh, these are pretty smooth turns. This definitely feels like one where you want top speed as your important part. <laughs> snub like San Francisco rush like uh, wow I got first on pole position that's a shock like the San Francisco rush I remember playing it but 
it wasn't one of the ones that I was like big on. Maybe just because it wasn't popular in my area at the arcades or anything. Like I remember uh, the cruising games, cruising USA, cruising Exotica. Those were big deals. I think I kind of remember San Francisco Rush. Did it have like a, a lime green cabinet or something? Vinyl. All right, if I can just keep first place, then I'd be solid. I'm starting in first. If I could stay in first, Get ready. <laughs> that'd be a nice change up for me. Go. Oh, yeah. What the deuce? Must have had higher acceleration than me. Is this yellow car in front of me gonna be like the RC Pro Am yellow car from the old Nintendo? That thing was a bastard. really use a first place finish. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna let me have it though. I mean I'll take second. Not gonna complain with the second, but first would have been nice. I gotta go eight laps on this shit, which means I'm Probably gonna have to stop and get fuel at some stage. I have yet to have to pit, but I think this is the one where it's gonna force you. God, I don't want to run into the back of him. That'll me hard. No! <laughs> Not the wall. Anything but the wall. Now look at him get ahead and out of view here. Oh, he pitted. Good. I'm gonna see if I can't make this lap I'm on and then pit myself. Look, <laughs> it's like you're almost out of gas, stupid. I know. Shut up. I'll make it. Shit, maybe I'll make it. <laughs> I might have pushed my luck on this one. No! Fudge. Look at me miss the pit, dude. Go! Go forward! No! Oh! Wow, did I biff that hard. Oh. 
Let me go, let me go, let me go! Ah, oh, Jesus. How many spots did I lose on that? I'm in seventh place now? Christ. Well, that's a lost race. God, that, that sucked. It probably would have been better for me to pit earlier. And I just made a poor racing decision. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Can't believe I hit the pit wall coming in. Talk about screwed me. Ouch. <laughs> so sad. I was in second place for like six laps. Was it doing jump? It did it! Jumped right out in front of me like a bastard. No, I don't want to replay of my failure, thanks. Results. Results. Ugh. Ugly. That was an ugly race. That's different music. Michael, goodbye. Mysterious difficult screen shows and poor maneuvering to travel to the channel. I wonder what makes it a bumpy track, you know? Like if it actually, I wonder if it like, actually has like physics built into this track that make your car like control poorly. Get ready. Or if it's just like, it's sort of a turny oh. track, so you'll be losing speed on the turns. like all the other tracks. It's a short track, that's for sure. It's definitely one I'm not going to have to hit my brake on. I feel like as long as I don't connect with the wall at some point during this race, I probably ought to be able to maintain third. Maybe even get lucky and sneak into second. Or, or I'll just screw the pooch and end up in like fifth or seventh or something again. I feel like that's even more likely. <laughs>
Oh, Jesus. There it is. There it went. Touched a wall. <sighs> Bad driver I am. Oh, what the? Dude, cut right in front of me. That's bogus. Come on, bro. What's up with that nonsense? It's amazing how far ahead of you those other cars get, man. Like they're, they're a good distance in front of me. Oh, shit. I didn't really want to replay, but we'll replay it for a second, I guess. Get ready. I like listen to this music on the replay. It sounds like 70s porno jazz. Or maybe like 70s like shaft music, you know. I guess you know. at least it's there. Series rankings. Fifth. Should be an interesting one. Qualified. This is a hell of a hair turn on the end. Get ready. Yeah, that turn down there is gonna be rough. Go. got my turning turned up even stronger on this one you can tell it's easier to overturn I think Oof. shit after having done a bunch of races with middle of the road turning and slash not having to hardly try to turn that turn down there was difficult. change it best. I got a better time. I was like, did I hit the same track time twice? We just switched it. God, look at that. First place is five seconds. Six seconds under me. Like, do that. <laughs> I think this will probably be the last race we do for the night. Final. It's not a bad game. I think the visuals are pretty solid. The colors look good. The sprites are decent, at least from the back. The replay looks a little rough. Uh, it doesn't look bad. The sound design's okay. The engines aren't obnoxiously loud. The music, it's got music, which is a huge, like, plus. You know, so many racing games don't even bother putting music in them. Uh, so that's nice. I don't think... No, no. Yeah, it's like, don't let me, don't let me run into your ass. Jesus. 
It gets a lot harder once you start bouncing off cars, man. Come on! Yeah, pricks. Jesus. Uh, anyway, I was saying the game's not that bad as it bends me over the table. The collision. The collision is harsh. Slow down. Um, the, the controls definitely feel very good. They're actually really responsive, which is nice. The turning, though I'm having a hell of a time on this particular track, has up until now seemed pretty controllable. And then... Good. I mean, the gameplay's not bad. Like, I'm, in, I'm enjoying it well enough. I haven't... I, you know, I didn't want to quit one race in, which I've definitely played racing games where after a race you're like, this is the garbage. I don't want to play it anymore. I think, uh, as far as very light simulation goes, it's not bad. Fog. And if you spend some time getting used to the controls, <laughs> I think you can probably do pretty well at it. I'm not going to get there in the short time I'm spending with it, but it really doesn't feel awful. Oh, shit. <laughs> I kind of wish that the mini-map was, like, on the bottom of the screen in the center so that I can keep a better eye on when the turns are... God, no, I... F fuck. I got turned around. Well, that's this race is a total loss now. Um, because I, I keep wanting to look up in the corner to see on the mini-map, like, kind of where the turns are so I can know what to expect. But... It's up there. It takes your eyes off your car, which is kind of important. And it's super distracting. Like, I just wish it was kind of down in the middle. Like, I would give up the bottom couple inches of the screen for the mini-map to be down there. I would like that a lot, actually. So, that's a thought. <laughs> I don't think it's a bad game. Uh, not inherently. I, like, I've played some bad racing games, and this one doesn't seem awful. Like, it's enjoyable enough. Uh, would I recommend everybody go play it? No. But, if you're into Formula One and you like racing, you could play a lot worse games, that's for damn sure. The collision's awful. I hate that. <laughs> but I think... I mean, you kind of get that in every racing game. When you hit another car, it bounces you back. I just feel like these cars give you, uh... Less... Oh, Jesus. Less of a gap to get through. Like, it's much harder to get around these cars. And I don't know if that's... Uh, the computer intentionally trying to be in your way. Or if it's just the the track is narrower than it feels maybe I feel like it's probably the computer intentionally being in your way though you know Slow down. Slow down. It's kind of annoying that turn there, I haven't figured out how to take because I hit my brakes before I come into it, and I've connected with the wall nearly every time. <laughs> and it's like, I, I hit my brakes, why am I still going so fast that I hit it every time? But I'm sure it's just an angle of approach thing. I'll get back and use it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that space isn't really being used. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's not. I don't know. Result. <laughs> yeah, ninth place. Sorry, Joe. You suck. 
I mean, I've stayed consistently in like fifth and sixth there. Um, yeah, we'll call that it for the night. I don't, again, yeah, I don't think it's bad. Like, everything looks nice, presentation's good, the sound's good, the gameplay feels okay, the control feels okay. I think it would just be a matter of playing enough to get used to the steering and everything at the different levels of uh, power and adjustment. I I don't want to give it a thumbs up, but I don't want to give it a thumbs down. It's a real middle of the road thing. Like I think if you like Formula One racing, this is probably a really fun game for you. Uh, it is too, or it is not arcadey and silly enough for me to like really like like like. I prefer Top Gear and rock and roll racing. You know, I prefer super silliness uh, and super arcadey to this. It's not bad. It's It could be way, way, way worse. Uh, but I'm going to give it a thumbs down. Unless you're a big F1 fan, then you probably dig this. But it's got 16 tracks. We've seen six of them. I feel they offer good variety. You know. Yeah, it's, it is what it is. So that's it. This was the last set of games in this five. Michael, which means... Uh, I'm going to be starting a new set on the weekend, but honestly, next week, I'm going to be out of town, basically, so there's not going to be a stream next Wednesday or the weekend after, <laughs> so you got, I'm going to, I'm going to stream on this Saturday and Sunday, and then probably not again until the Wednesday after that. Uh, you don't like this. Yeah, board game convention. My wife and go to every year uh, in St. Louis. So. One of the few vacations that we take as an us vacation. So we're going to be doing that. And so what I'm probably going to do is I'll pick up Tears of the Kingdom on Friday and I'll probably stream it all Friday evening or some nonsense. And then I'll probably stream it on Saturday. Because <laughs> it's probably the only game I'm going to want to play. Uh, so, yeah. And then, <laughs> and then after I get back from our little trip, then I'll get back to normal streaming. Uh, that's legit. This was the completion of week 87, by the way, for the show. So, we have played 435 games for the Super Nintendo. We're almost, we're almost there, almost there. Only another probably two years to get the last 200 and, you know, 10 out. But, so that's it. Uh, Monkey, our clown, Goober, Joey, thanks for coming in tonight and hanging out for a little while. Uh, hopefully I'll see y'all, see you guys on Friday night, unless you're playing Tears of the Kingdom. In which case you probably won't want to watch me play Tears of the Kingdom. And no, no. I think uh, after after I finish the Super Nintendo, I think my streaming days will probably be done. <laughs> you know, uh, it's it's fun, but my guess there's a lot of things that are going to coincide with the end of this in a couple years. Uh, you know, if if I look three years down the road, my youngest son should graduate high school. Both of my dogs are probably going to be dead at that stage. Not as a rude thing to dogs; they're just both that age. And then I'll finish this all in probably three-ish years. And then after that, we're going to move to a much smaller house. I'm going to have to sell off most of my gaming stuff. And then hopefully my wife and I can take time to ourselves and travel a little bit. But that's the plan. So no, no, not Genesis after this. <laughs> Nothing after this. Um, but I appreciate you guys. I really do. Hanging out with me for... Some of you have been here. I mean, Monkey, you've been around for a long time. Goober's been around since the beginning. Clown, I know you came in a while back. So, yeah, it's good. It's good. But that's it. We'll see you guys on... Uh, I'll see you guys if you guys pop in on Friday. I'll see you on Friday. Listen to the kingdom. I'm assuming that everything works. Uh, but that's it. Peace out, y'all.